are celebrating our true professionals. And you know what a professional is? A professional, in my mind, is somebody who knows why they say what they say when they say it, most of the time. Why they do what they do when they do it most of the time. See, there are times I know in your day when you have, have to take that moment. You know that moment? When because you were there, your high quality customer service has moved it forward. When you have, when you have taken that moment, you have to, and you assume the position, you know? Have you ever done this? Your shoulders are up and back, you feel with bravado, done that on? Heads up slightly to the side. Your hands sweep across your hips. <laughs> and you say the word, I am the duck. Thank you very much. Because that's true, that's what it is. You're the duck. You are the duck. Anything you see on the commercial. See, we think it's that feathered thing. It is not. That is an image. When people call on the phone, when they talk to you in person, everything you say, everything you do, is the duck. That's what we're celebrating. You're the duck. Turn to the person next to you and say, you are the duck. Turn to the person on the other side and say, I am the duck. You're the duck, people. Do you get it? You are the duck. So there's two things I want to pass on to you today. There's two things that, that, that as professionals, as professionals, we keep that going. It doesn't happen by itself. We keep it going. And so next time you are working with somebody that you hear doing a fantastic job, you can't wait for the plaques. You can't wait for the trips. You can't wait for the acknowledgement. That, that's extra. I see, I know that you see it every day. There are people that you work with that make it a joy to work with you. Isn't there? Yeah, there are. There are. There are people that work with you that make it a joy to work with you. There are people that are knee deep in the tornado, but because they're there, because they say what they say, because they do what they do, it moves forward. And it's that time that this company needs you to understand your power. It's not just with the customers, it's also with us. Recognition comes from us too. So I gotta tell you what, we do this in Texas really well, and I know, I know, here in Columbus, we gotta do this really good too. Next time you see somebody that is just doing something outstanding, don't wait for the plaque. I want you to be the plaque, because they're the duck. And you need to do this, you need to do this. Hang on a second. Here's what you need to do. You need to turn that person and go, man, you did good. You did really, really good. Let's practice that together, are you sure? Are you ready? I want you to turn the person next to you. I want you to say, man, you did good. You did really, really good. Ready? One, two, three, go. Very nice. Because <laughs> keep in mind, it's not easy in the tornado, is it? No, it's not easy in the tornado. And I got to tell you, if you're not careful, the tornado gets physical. You know what I'm talking about? How many of you know what I'm talking about? How many of you, how many of you, well, let me ask you this. Have you ever done business with the Antichrist before? Have you ever done, have you ever done business with the devil? It happens. Sometimes Beelzebub's on the phone, I know. But here's the, here's the problem. The problem is if you're not careful, how many of you know that if you're not careful, you will bring that experience with you to the next person? It's the truth. It's called paralanguage. Paralanguage is everything that surrounds your words. And I'll give you a tip. Most of it shows up on your face. I remember coming home from work and my kids were for a while. Daddy, are you mad? Daddy, are you mad? Why is daddy mad? How come daddy's mad? Daddy, why are you mad? And after a while, it would make you mad. I'm not mad. Why? And they go. You know? My daughter's. My daughter's four years old. She's sitting on my lap. She said, Daddy, are you mad? I said, Honey, I'm not mad. Why do you keep asking me if I'm mad? She took her thumbs and pushed up my eyebrows. And she said, Now you're, you're not mad. And I went, oh, You're a genius. See, what she was telling me is, Dad, your tornado's showing. Your tornado's showing, Dad. And I appreciate the fact that you're this tall, but it doesn't matter how you feel on the inside, because how many of you come home from work and this is traffic on your face? Because on the inside, I feel good. How was your day? That oh, was good. It's a good day. No, I'm having a good time. It was fun. I, I work at Half-Life, you know. 
Pale language. Tornado shows up on your face. They made me put eyebrows on a four, three by five card. I stuck it above my door so when I came home it reminded me, hey, get your eyebrows up. <laughs> See, I didn't do it for me. I did it for them. See, they needed me to watch my pair language. On the inside, I feel fine. They needed me to get my eyebrows up. Does that make sense? Turn to your neighbor, find a face. Do this for me. Turn, turn to your neighbor, find a face. Say the word O. Oh. See, that's pair language. Now say the word O oh, like you're angry. Yeah, look at the face, look at the face. Now say the word O oh, like you're surprised. Now, now say the word O oh, like it's pleasurable. Y'all pretty good at that one, aren't you? Aflac, the love company. Hey! <laughs> Same word, different para language. Some of you need to hear this message. Be careful of the tornado. Get your eyebrows up. It's hard to work with you. <laughs> so here's the deal. Next time you see somebody's tornado resting on their shoulders, I want you to go, Phew! get your eyebrows up. Let's try that. Turn to your person next to you go, get your eyebrows up. <laughs> and the last thing I want to leave you with is this. Everything that we've talked about has been built on a foundational idea. And the foundational idea is this. This company is a product. Our product is a promise. It's not tangible. You know, you've heard that a million times. But you have to be reminded and we have to live it because a tornado gets crazy. So our product is our, is our belief. Our product is our faith in what we do. Our product is the love that we bring, not only to each other, but to the people that we work with because you are the duck. So there's a foundational issue that I want to bring up that I've, I've heard all my life and I want to pass on to you. Uh, his name was Father Noya. He was a priest friend of mine. And, and, and the first time I heard him speak, I was in the U.S. when I was sitting in the front row. And Father Noya was from the islands. I don't know what islands he was from, but he says, If you want true fulfillment in your life, you must be for people. Life is about people. We are about people. Business is about people. Young people, you must be for people. If you want true happiness in your life, everything you do must be for people. I live for you. I give you peas and bananas. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to him going, fruits and vegetables, all right, feed the hungry, right on Padre. <laughs> what he meant was, actually what, what we found out years later, he actually said, peace and happiness. I'm shoving food down people's throats. That's not what he meant. What he's saying is this, Aflac, and this is what we are celebrating today. See, there's a reason why there is love in this room. There's a reason why you enjoy coming to work. And it's because of you folks. It's not because of anything else. See, we create culture. You decide culture. You decide what type of company you work for. You make it happen. So let's practice. Let's practice. Because I'm done. Let's practice. Here's the words. You got to do the voice, got to do the hands. I live for you. I give you peas and I give you peas and bananas. All right, I want some passion. Smack the person next to you. Okay, you ready? On the count of three, with passion. One, two, three. I live for you. I give you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what. Next time you're in the tornado, and you've got your your peeps around you, you let them know that you. You man, you did good. You did really, really good. You focus on yourself by getting your eyebrows up. Don't let it, don't let it take you. And you keep the vision going by living what Aflac stands for, which is when it comes to our customers, both internal and external, I live for you. I give you peas and bananas. And on the foundation of that, we are the ones that create that vision that says, one team, one dream, because you are the duck. God bless you. Give Michael Hoffman a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.